Hello everyone, my name is Xbox One, and welcome back to some more Dragon Age Origins. Um, in the last part, we finally made it to Orzammar, and we are trying to get the dwarves to honor their obligations to send aid during the time of crisis, which is um, which is what we seem to find ourselves in, as you know, this may or may not be an official blight. Uh, pretty much, it feels like it is, but we just haven't seen any sign of the. Archdemon just yet. Anyway, but of course, uh, we can't get the dwarves uh, aid until we help them out, such as what, such as the same way with the elves and the mages. Everyone needs their help before they can help us. Um, hopefully there's not going to be an echo like last time. I don't know what really triggered that, but um, I'm going to keep an ear out for that, and hopefully it won't uh, rear its ugly head again. Let's see. We've got a whole bunch of side missions and uh oh, what's going on? So I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens, that no one decides to just burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Oh, uh, we probably shouldn't get involved, but... This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Take a good look. Do you really want to start whoa, this? Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. All right, I helped you. Thugs are out of your Ancestors, store. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I'm pretty sure you can actually fight, um, fight them in the store, and if you actually kill them. He like freaks out. He's like, "My store, it's in ruin. The bodies, the blood, and Jarvie is gonna come after me, or something like that." I can't remember exactly, but um, it's better to try to avoid it. <clears throat> you could start by letting me look around your store. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford. I assure you. <laughs> Because I have no self-control. Alright. Alright, um... To start off with tonight's episode, um... We need to gain the loyalty of one of the, uh... Potential leaders of Orzammar. Uh, we're either going to go after um, Prince Balin, who some believe is the true uh, heir to the throne. Uh, even though it's weird how the dwarves do it, uh, the kings are not necessarily, you know, chosen by bloodlines. You know, like if the king dies, mm -hmm. his son doesn't automatically. Yes, Alistair. My shirt oh, okay. has a hole in it. I see. <sighs> and can you mend it when we get back to camp? Can't you mend your own clothes? Why do I have to do it? 
Sometimes I pick up too much fabric and it ends up all puckered and the entire garment hangs wrong afterward. And you're, you know, grandmotherly. Grandmothers do that sort of thing, don't they? Darning socks and whatnot. You don't want me to have to fight darkspawn in a shirt with a hole, do you? It might get bigger. I might catch cold. Oh, all right. I'll mend your shirt the next time we set up camp. Oh, and while you're at it, the elbows kind of need patching, too. Careful, young man. Or puckered garments may be the least of your problems. <laughs> I love the banter between those two. Um, but I was explaining the uh, the way that the government works in Orzammar. Um So say that the king dies, the, uh, the heir to the throne, the son, isn't always the chosen select. Uh, it's actually whoever the king anoints as his heir. So that heir could either be one of his own children, it could be a grandchild, it could be one of his uh, chosen stewards, it could be anyone. And um, in cases like this, um, one of the lords is saying, well, I was with the king when he died and he chose me, but since there was no other witness to this, the prince, you know, says that it's his, you know, that it's his, it's his honor and his duty to become the king. And now the assembly, the Deshers, I believe they're called, has to elect who's going to be the next king. And they're kind of in a standstill because Balin, who unfortunately is the choice we're going for, is slimy and shady. And he probably threatened, bribed, and, you know, offered many um, kind of tricks to get into kinghood. And then there's Lord Harrimont, who actually is honorable and actually is like you know the popular choice in Orzmar. and um yeah no uh we're going after Balin because he's technically the better choice for Orzmar. he's forward thinking he doesn't you know hang on to old traditions which old traditions is kind of what's ruining Orzmar. um there's uh the, when I chose Harrowmont for my very first playthrough I got, like, one of the worst endings in Orzammar. Like, you know, he was assassinated. I think either him or his wife was, like, assassinated, like, a couple months into their king, um, into their, uh, kingdom. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way, you know, in case you haven't done this yet. But I think he was pretty much assassinated, you know, uh, a couple years into his kinghood. And, um, like, Orzammar kind of fell into disarray. Like, the caste system was completely, like, messed up and, like... It was it was literally um, a snowball like downward spiral, but King Balin actually does do a lot of good for Orzammar. Like he kind of diminishes the caste system a bit, where you know if you're castless, it's not as bad as you, it's not as bad as it used to be. He actually gives up better opportunities for people. Uh, he lets uh, surface dwarves um, retain their caste, so they're not you know giving up everything when they leave their homes, and new blood essentially goes into Orzammar. Um, also, uh, we were supposed to open a Chantry, which, uh, if you see, if you look at the mini-map, there's a quest marker on my, on the map. Yeah, uh, we essentially got permission to open up the Chantry. Oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure the, uh, if we left Haramont, uh, the dwarf also gets, us, uh, gets killed. It might be him that gets assassinated, I can't remember. Someone dies. There's a lot of death in Orzammar if, Har if Haramont, you know, is chosen as king. It's not good. Uh, but we are actually going after Balin, so we have to prove to him the prince's favor first task. So we're going to mark that as our... Uh, let's see, we need to go to the Deep Roads, and we need to take the promissory note to Lord Helmy. Often found in the, t in the tapsters. Okay. So yeah. And we did agree to uh, try to help um, Harrowmont to, like, you know, say, oh, we tried, but... We're not going to help him. I heard a nug. There they are. These are a quick way of getting some uh, some of the money that I just spent back. And we can go into the tapsters. But first, let's tell, you know, Brother Burkle that, hey, you can open the Chantry. Even though me as an elf doesn't really follow that Andraste religion. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom. But I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. He agreed to let you hold your prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service.
And yeah, this is Orzammar's first Chantry. Amazing. I think we have to go through a loading screen in order for it to actually become active, so here we go. I tried Dwarven Ale once. I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking, as a joke. <laughs> I'm guessing that means the swell isn't that good here. I told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Lord Hel uh, Helmy. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? That's. I mean, technically, there's no casts. <clears throat> Most humans treat my people like your castles. There are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other castes. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent deshers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the castes are even necessary. Hmm. So, you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. You know, you... I'm surprised you're not uh, more of a Balin supporter. Who are you I voting for? I candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Unfortunately, you have a point there. How do the caste systems work, Badly. anyway? Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. I have news. Harrowmont is double-dealing you and Lady Des... Desay? Dace? Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. I'm sorry. Why vote for Harrowmont if you didn't I want the land? I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same, well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. Oh god, I feel scummy. He was actually a really good guy. And I really believe that he has the best interests of um, Orzammar in heart, and... Again, if, if Harrowmont's like, ending was better, I would have chosen him. But unfortunately, it's not, so I have to go with Balin. Ogren. Oh, we saw you arguing with that guy yesterday. Can we talk to you, or are you just going to tell us a piss what off? What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. I guess you're just like all the rest. My only concern is raising allies you against the blight. You don't need a king to face a blight. You need a paragon. The assembly elects them. 
but they're higher than the assembly. They become nobles, but they're more than anyone born to a house. They're what every dwarf with a spine not made of soap dreams of being. And this Bronca is City's one of them? She's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. <laughs> you trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know I'm not here for Harrowmont. Around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the ancient's technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? What if I genuinely want, genuinely want to help too you? Too little, too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boot kissing will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrowmont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep! Huh. Also, if his voice sounds uh, familiar to you, um, it is because he is the same voice actor as our lovely little grunt from Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, respectively. Um, and I love Algren. <laughs> He's actually a really nice character. Alright, so now we have to go to the Deep Roads to find Lady Dace's father and let him know that, quote-unquote, Harrowmont is, um, is, uh, double cro or is double dealing. Again, I feel scummy for doing that. Ugh, it just, it doesn't feel right. Oh, look, another Nug. And a runestone. I'll take that. Uh, you wrangle the nug into a box, ready to deliver to Barrowmore. What's this? An elf? I'm sorry, but yes. I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. I'm on business for Balin. I have to find I Lord Dace. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the Deep Roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Actually, they've made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. What do you know about Paragon Bronca? What anyone knows. She went out there with her entire house and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a Paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Are Darkspawn the only dangers in of these tunnels? Not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Deep Ugly stalkers? Beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Huh. I Best should of go. luck. Cut to call whatever that was. To the deep roads. The Iduken Tig. And the deep roads were uh, how the dwarves, they're kind of like the imperial highways on the surface. These were the ways that the dwarves were able to travel from one province of their underground, you know, empire to the next. Unfortunately, because of the dark spawn and all that other good stuff, 
Um, the deep roads have long been into ruin, and it's actually very dangerous for them to travel the deep roads now. No one goes into the deep roads expedition. Uh, um, no, no one ever goes into the deep roads for an expedition, unless they're trying to reclaim some kind of uh, treasure or some kind of like ancient um, dwarven knowledge or history. And it is very dangerous to uh, to travel the deep roads. Nothing. To Off with your head. Yes. I still remember my Not bad, not bad. Take that Larian potion. I am still on the hardest difficulty, right? Oh, sh no, I am not. No wonder. Yeah, we're only doing hard. We're not doing nightmare. No wonder that was too easy. I was playing on a different uh, save file, so I think when you change the difficulties on one save file, it um, changes it for the other save files. So, oops. Uh, let's try to lead them to us. Yes, this feels more familiar. Alright, I'm taking out the archers. There's too many of them. We're not doing too terrible. We're not doing too good either. Life stones, thank you. Those are all essential for crafting. Small bloody sack. Bag of limbs. The limbs of some demonic creature is in the sack. Oh, lovely. Asunder, lovely. The sound this dark spawn makes gives me the shivers. Yep, and we're trained to kill them. Uh, Zafran, how do you think I feel? Moving on. on. I can sell that. All right, let's go deeper. We already aggroed them. There's so many of them. Oh shit. Stop healing yourself. Any more? Any more? There's one down there. Yes. Oh, right. 
Finally completing my points. I kind of want to test that out and use it or implement the Taint Blood a little bit more. I might only save that for boss battles, though. Deep Mushroom, which I'm pretty sure there's a little mini quest that we have that requires Deep Mushrooms. Deep Stalker. Yes. And I'm Ugh, they're ugly little beasts. Now what is that? Yes. <laughs> Bless me. Extra rune stone, lyrium dust. Now this Not bad. Okay. That's the last of them. Now what is that? Oh, come on. <laughs> Not sure if they can die, but I don't want to risk it. us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. So how does an elf come to be down here anyway? You should look at these papers. I don't understand. What could... These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Haramont, but... The charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now, my life and my house's fortune. Will you tell your daughter not to vote for Lord Hel uh, Haramont? He will certainly not support a man who would use my family like that. I will tell everyone I know what a wretched trick Haramont tried to play. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? No, I'm going to explore further. Be careful then. There are more dangerous things than deep stalkers down here. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. I think that was Alistair so getting a lot of love love. What a leech and a liar Haramont is. Good job. So you were serious about wanting to help us. Are you ready to meet Balin now? I have a few things to do first. I wouldn't keep the prince waiting long. Alright, so we completed the Prince's Favor, and I think we proved to him that we want... We're going to make Alistair a champion. Increase that strength and that constitution, buddy. Let's see, we get that at 16. Uh, sword and shields. Assault. The character quickly strikes a target four times, but dealing reduced damage with each hit. If the character has a shield mastery, the damage from each hit increase. Uh, shield mastery, which is down here. Oh, we need dexterity for that. Uh, we'll start leveling up his dexterity then. But for champion, we're gonna do war cry. Okay. Um. Thank you, Win, for doing that. I don't know why. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? 
Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've completed the first task, and we are going to. Uh, we're going to meet with um, Lord Balin in the next part. Uh, sorry that that took so long, but um, yeah, I, I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to do shorter episodes this time, because uh, I know with the last like couple of videos from my Mass Effect series, I've done like one hour, almost two hour long videos, and I'm trying to keep them at reasonable bite sized chunks. So. Let me know how I'm doing, you know, I'm still sort of new to this stuff, I'm still trying to figure out which, you know, systems work best for me. But yeah, with that being said, I've been Xbox One, you guys have been great, I'll catch you in the next part. Goodbye lovelies.